Glyoxylase 1 protects against glycation by methylglyoxal in physiological systems. Glyoxylase 1 is part of the cytosolic glyoxylase system that metabolizes methylglyoxal to delactate. Metabolism of methylglyoxal is very important in physiological systems because otherwise methylglyoxal modifies proteins and DNA producing significant levels of damage. Modification of protein produces a major adduct called a hydroamidazolone and proteins that are susceptible to this modification we call the dicarbonyl proteome. Modification of DNA occurs at deoxyguanosine residues and produces an adduct called a, an imidazopurinone and this is a quantitative form of DNA damage endogenously in physiological systems. The glyoxylase system protects against this damage by metabolizing over 99% of methylglyoxal. The small amount of methylglyoxal that avoids metabolism provides for low levels of damage to proteins and DNA normally. This can increase in aging and disease. The structure of the gene of human glyoxylase 1 is shown in this slide. The gene for human glyoxylase 1 GLOW1 is at locus 6P21.2. The structure of the gene consists of five exons and the promoter region. When we analyzed the nucleotide sequence of the promoter region, we found that there were three potentially functional antioxidant response elements, AREs, one in exon 1, ARE1, and two further removed from the start codon. To investigate the functionality of these AREs in the glyoxylase 1 promoter region, we prepared luciferase reporter vectors by serial deletion fragment cloning so that we could then assess the transcriptional response in response to an NRF2 activator. The positive control was quinone reductase ARE NQO1 ARE shown. Transcriptional response was maximal in both A when ARE1 was present and was no higher when ARE2 and ARE3 were also present. In further analysis, we were able to mutate ARE1 and lose all transcriptional activity, confirming that it is only ARE1 which is a functional ARE in the glyoxylase 1 gene regulatory region, and this is consistent because it's closest to the start codon. To investigate the metabolic functionality of this regulatory regulation of glyoxylase 1 transcription. So we studied the response of glyoxylase 1 transcription to an isothiocyanate NRF2 activator, sulforaphane, SFN. Typical time course is shown in the upper left-hand panel where isothiocyanate binds to cellular protein, maximizing after about three hours and then declines thereafter. We expect transcriptional response to persist for about eight hours. The next panel along shows that the glyoxylase 1 messenger RNA increased up to 12 hours and then declined rather rapidly, consistent with its short half-life. The next slide shows the glyoxylase 1 protein changes which increase to 12 hours maximizing there and then declines very slowly thereafter consistent with the half-life of glyoxylase 1 of 63 hours. Glyoxylase 1 activity was increased at 24 hours consistent with the time course of high, uh, higher glyoxylase 1 protein and also at that point cellular methylglyoxal concentration was decreased by about 40%. Looking further out, commensurate with the half-life of cellular proteins, we found a decrease of protein damage in cells at 48 hours post-stimulation. So this shows that the NRF2 activator is induced expression of glyoxylase 1 protein, and we have increased activity, and then this provides enhanced protection against cellular protein damage. So we know the NRF2 KEEP1 anti-stress gene response system to provide protection against oxidative damage, metabolic stress, lipogenic stress, protein damage, and now we also know that it's a critical component in providing protection against glycation, particularly dicarbonyl glycation, where glyoxylase 1, the main 
protector of the proteome and genome against dicarbonyl glycation is also under NRF2 ARE system control. Supporting this are roles of aldoketoreductases and aldehyde dehydrogenases that can also metabolize dicarbonyls. In summary, I'd like to say that human glyoxylase 1 has a functional ARE in exon 1 of the gene, leading to two to threefold increased expression in response to NRF2 activators. This leads to decreased methylglyoxal concentrations, decreased methylglyoxal protein and DNA damage. Glyoxylase 1 is an important enzyme protecting the proteome and genome from dicarbonyl glycation damage. Glyoxylase 1 deficiency exacerbates aging, diabetes, renal failure, cardiovascular disease and certain neurological disorders. Functional effects of increased glyoxylase 1 expression have been studied. We can find a decreased mutagenesis by methylglyoxal and also decreased detachment of endothelial cells from extracellular matrix, for example, by inducing glyoxylase 1 expression. Glyoxylase 1 induces may find application in treatment of vascular complications of diabetes and renal failure and cardiovascular disease and for functional food development to sustain healthy aging.